our flaws. A Buddha is a physician. Have you seen a flower blossoming? In the process, its petals begins to open. Different petals represents different layers of its being. This is what awakening is, enlightenment is. Then the flower cannot contain its beauty and fragrance. It is the aura of the flower. This beauty and fragrance is for one who is open and vulnerable to this blossoming and comes close to the flower. Remember, without awareness, blossoming cannot happen. And without blossoming of the inner layers of the being, the process of transformation cannot begin and once the and if the process of transformation does not begin enlightenment does not happen and once flower is blossomed its beauty and fragrance overflows as compassion it is said that Awakening or enlightenment is opening of different layers of inner lotus. Buddha says, I am a physician. And someone asked, you again and again say, you are a physician, but I do not see any medicine around you. What medicine do you prescribe? Buddha is the physician of the inner. He responded, my medicine is only one. It is awareness and I prescribe awareness. And it has not been, it has not to be brought or bought from the chemist. You have to change your inner chemistry or alchemy to bring it forward. Yes, indeed, you have to change your inner chemistry. Right now, your inner chemistry functions in a way that it produces unawareness and unconsciousness, just as the food that you eat contributes to your health and proper functioning of different organs. In the same way, the inner chemistry helps to bring awareness in you, more liveliness and more energy. Inner chemistry can be changed. It can be de-automatized, which is at the moment it is automatic. How to do it? You will have to find in the sutras that are to follow. Buddha says, light the candle of awareness in your heart. And your whole being will radiate compassion. How to light the candle of awareness in your heart? You have to remember, we are not aliens, nor strangers join. We are bound to each other by a causeless force. The energy, the life force that flows in you also flows in me and in everyone else around. The only problem is your hardware is malfunctioning and that is where the chemistry has to change. Light the candle of awareness in your heart and your whole being will radiate compassion. Compassion is the proof. Unless compassion happens, remember you must be deceiving yourself. Compassion means just as the beauty and the flower and the fragrance of the flower spreads all around, in the same way, compassion in the form of love 
and concern overflows towards everything sentient and insentient. Then you do not consider even the insentient things like your living room, set and all those things as lifeless. Remember you must be deceiving yourself. You must be doing something else than being aware. Compassion is the aura of awareness. For example, you can try concentration. Concentration is not awareness and the person of concentration will never show compassion. Compassion is not a sequence of concentration, is not a consequence of concentration. Concentration means focusing of the mind, the narrowing of the mind on one point. The concentrated mind becomes very powerful, but remember, still it is mind and very powerful, hence more dangerous than ever. Concentration is the method of science. Awareness is totally different. It has nothing to do with science. It is not focusing. Awareness is unfocused alertness. For example, right now you are listening to me. You can hear in a concentrated way or you, you can be forced, focused on me. Then you will miss this song of the birds and all other sounds which you consider as noise. Then you will miss the noise on the road, the sound of the cars speeding on the road. Then you are not aware. And then your mind will become narrow. Awareness is not the narrowing of the mind. Instead, the disappearing disappearance of the mind. The moment your awareness, your focus is unfocused, mind begins to disappear. The narrowing of the mind makes the mind more of a mind, hence the Hindu mind is more of a mind, a Muslim mind is more of a mind and a communist mind is more of a mind because these are all the processes of narrowing the consciousness. Somebody is focused on Das Capital or on Communist Manifesto. Next one is focused on Quran or on Dhampad or Bhagavad Gita or on Bible. These are all focused people. They create narrow minds in the world. They cannot go beyond the narrow boundaries. They create conflict and do not bring compassion, although they talk of compassion. For thousands of years, religions have existed, but compassion is still a dream. We have not been able to create a world that knows what love is, what friendship is, what brotherhood is. Yes, we talk, and we talk too much about all these beautiful things. In fact, the talk has become nauseating. It is sickening. It should stop. No more talks of brotherhood and love and this and that. We have talked for thousands of years for no purpose. The reason is that the concentrated mind becomes narrow, becomes more of a mind, and remember, love is not a function of the mind. Love is the overflow of no mind. You can call it no mind, no mind or heart. Both means the same. No mind and heart are synonymous. The 
Hindus call heart as Hriday and Sufis call as Kalp. Awareness means you are listening to me unfocused. Of course, alertness is there. You have not fallen asleep, but you are alert to these birds, their chirping, to the wind that passes through the trees, alert to everything. They, if you are on the bank of the ocean, then the waves rising. Alert to everything that is happening in this precise single moment. Concentration excludes much, includes little. Awareness excludes nothing and includes all. Awareness is a state of no mind. You are, yet you are not focused. You are just a mirror that reflects and echoes everything. It does not make a choice. Mirror has no choice which it wants to reflect and which not. The echo whatsoever, echo is a system, whatsoever sound comes, it echoes that. There is a beauty in it and the silence and the stillness too. There is a beauty, tremendous beauty. Suddenly you are and you are not and the miracle begins to happen. Suddenly you are and you are not. You are as awareness, but focus is not there. And in that very moment, miracle begins to happen. In this silence, you feel compassion, compassion for all suffering beings. It is not to be practiced either. It just comes on its own, just as you cannot create the beauty and the fragrance of a flower. And if you are creating, that will be artificial. And that cannot have the aliveness. When compassion happens, when the inner lotus begins, opens its petals as a result as a consequence, beauty and fragrance in the form of love, form of compassion, spurs on its own and begins to overflow. Compassion is the only way of relating and sharing your presence with others. And when you are relating to someone out of compassion and sharing your presence. Something like a quantum leap moves from you to the other. And have you seen a flame getting lit? The more the flame comes closer to the lit flame, then in a certain moment, something jumps from the lit candle and lights the unlit one. This is what sharing is. Compassion is the way of relating and sharing your presence with others. Enough for now.